emphysema is usually present in smokers. This is the third leading cause of death, COPD. And what is COPD? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is an umbrella term, that, is, that means it, it is a parent term that has two diseases rolled into it. These two diseases are emphysema and chronic bronchitis. And why is that the case? As I said, emphysema is a disease in smokers. Smokers also have a disease present normally with emphysema and that is chronic bronchitis. And I'll explain why this is combined. However, just keep in mind that emphysema and chronic bronchitis together are called COPD. Now, COPD is then different from asthma, which are both, they both are obstructive lung diseases. However, asthma is a reversible disease. You can administer drugs and you can heal at least temporarily or reverse the asthma. COPD is not reversible. It's a progressive disease, it's a permanent disease, it's a destructive disease and once it causes the collapse or expansion, uh, unfair abnormal dilatation of the airways, those cannot, that dilatation cannot be reversed. So that is a primary difference. Now what is the difference between chronic bronchitis and emphysema? This lecture is about the emphysema so I'll stress on that. However, let me quickly explain the difference in chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Look, here is, a, here is a respiratory tree and if we very quickly look at the, the pathways here, there are two ways I've drawn it. One, there is right and left and the right side is going to represent chronic bronchitis. Left side is going to represent emphysema, that is one. Second, the airways, this, they are drawn in blue and green. The blue airways are those that are basically airways. They only allow the air to move through them, but there is no gas exchange through their membrane. So oxygen and carbon dioxide are not exchanging through the blue parts. That is just a passageway. So we'll call them airways. The green parts are the parts where gas exchange would occur. So that area will be called air spaces, not airways, air spaces, or more accurately, SNI or lobules. What is that? Look, the last airway, and once again, airway, non-gaseous exchange area, just the conduction area. The last part of the airway is called terminal bronchiole. So these are the terminal bronchioles that are finishing at the green parts. These are all terminal bronchioles, that is one. The terminal bronchioles then become continuous with the respiratory bronchioles and the gas exchange starts there. Respiratory bronchioles can divide up to three to five branches, divide into three to five branches. These are the alveolar ducts and then alveolar ducts become continuous with the alveolar sac and that has alveoli. The last blind part, the closed parts are the alveoli. These alveoli are balloon-like structures which are present at the end like a cluster of grapes. So this portion that does the gaseous exchange, one alveolar duct, alveolar sac and the alveoli are, is called SNS. However, three to five SNI connected together is called a lobule, respiratory lobule. Now, anatomically, the difference between chronic bronchitis and emphysema is the following. Chronic bronchitis is the destruction and dilatation of the airways, the blue parts. Do you see I have made the blue parts a little bit more dilated? So the blue part, so they are not doing any gas exchange, so there should be no problem. No, there is a problem. The problem is that they have the mucus secreting glands, plus they have the cilia that propel the fluids upwards. So when there is irritation, when there is inflammation of this area, the, there is hyperplasia of the mucus secreting glands. That causes extra mucus to be present. That mucus can plug the airways, which can cause atelectasis or which can cause 
infections and so on. So that is the problem with the chronic bronchitis, chronic infections, atelectasis and itself a dilatation, destruction and dilatation. However, emphysema is same problem that is destruction and dilatation of the tissue but what tissue? The green tissue, the gas exchanging tissue, the SNI and the lobule. That is the anatomical difference between them. Causative factor is the same. The most common causative factor is the smoke, smokers or people who are in the polluted areas. The same smoke would attack this part of the tree and this part of the tree. The same smoke would, smoke would cause similar damage. However, when the damage is to the respiratory area, respiratory airway, we call it chronic bronchitis. And when it is to the SNI, we call it emphysema. Now, definition. Please write this one down. The definition of chronic bronchitis is not morphological. It's not something that you can go and look into the tissue, do a biopsy and say, okay, now I know that this is chronic bronchitis. It is more clinical. You say that a patient has chronic bronchitis if the patient has, if the patient has productive cough for three months or more for two years in, in a row. If you find that, then you declare clinically that the patient has chronic bronchitis. On the other hand, emphysema actually has a morphological pattern. You will be able to, if you do biopsy or if you take chest x-ray, you will be able to see dilated lungs and the broken down SNI and the dilated ballooned areas in the, in the lobules. So this is morphological, this is clinical. Anatomically, this is for the gas exchanging part and this is for the gas conducting part. Got it? Now, the difference between asthma and the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that is these two diseases together are called COPD. Asthma is reversible, this is not reversible. Now, definition. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.